Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to a new video. My name is Harmon. Today's video uh, takes place in the small town of Gig Harbor, Washington. And Gig Harbor is kind of around the Puget Sound. But anyway, so I'm here checking out the really tragic story of the Tacoma police chief, David Brame. He murdered his wife and then himself uh, in a parking lot in front of their kids. But anyway guys, I'm gonna check out the parking lot where David killed his wife and himself. And then I'm gonna go check out um, the graves of both David and his wife, Crystal. So the day of this tragic event happened on April 26th, 2003. David Brame was 44 years old and his wife, Crystal Brame, 35 years old. They, they were going through a really bitter divorce and on that day, April 26th, David had kind of made a prearranged uh, meeting to pick up their two children from his wife. And they met at a parking lot, uh, which is not that far away from where I am right now. And so I'll go over there after this. But David took the two children and put them in his car. Meanwhile, he got back into his wife's car. Uh, he sat in the passenger seat and witnesses say they heard both of them screaming and yelling at each other and and that is when david pulled out his his gun and ended up shooting crystal there in the head and then david turned around and pulled the trigger killing himself they took her to the hospital um, but unfortunately she passed away from her injuries um, about a week later on May 4th, 2003. This case is really, really, really tragic. Um, and especially because, again, their two children were right there. They witnessed the entire thing. So before the actual murder happened of Crystal Brame and of course David Brame's suicide, again, their relationship was extremely rocky. It says that Crystal had been threatened many times by David. He had threatened to harm her and threatened to kill her. It also says that he would point his gun at her randomly and say that he could easily break her neck. Uh, so obviously David had some pretty serious issues and obviously had a pretty bad anger problem. Again, Crystal and David were going through a, a bad divorce and um, David had apparently sought out counseling to try to help get him through that pretty bad divorce. Uh, so for whatever reason, even though David had been threatening to kill Crystal many times, she apparently didn't reach out to get a restraining order against him. She was fearful to kind of make any, any statements in regards to the assaults and threats to her life. She claimed that if she went forward with any charges, potentially uh, David would actually go ahead and kill her. As I said in, in a prior video, uh, restraining orders and protection orders are not a perfect system. Uh, they, they're just a piece of paper. And if someone really wants to kill someone or assault someone, especially their you know, significant other or uh, in this case, their spouse who they're going through a divorce with. So Crystal did a few small steps to try to ensure her safety and her kids' safety by changing the locks on the house. They weren't living together at that time. So in the divorce papers, David was the one who claimed that his wife, Crystal, was the one victimizing him and claiming that she was the one that had a bad temper. However, it sounds like he was making all that up. It sounds like he was the one uh, who was victimizing her. All right, guys, so this is my best interpretation. Um, it, from what I've gathered, it seems like they both were parked uh, like around here and parked across the aisle, something like this. And, um, and so basically, yeah, David got out, got into her car after he got the kids in his car already. And as far as I can tell, they both um, ended up getting shot somewhere around right here.
They uh, had been married for 11 years. Um, David had joined the Tacoma Police Force in 1981, and he rose up the ranks to becoming the chief of police there uh, in January of 2002. Um, so again, he'd only been the chief for about a year and a few months before he ultimately killed himself and his wife. Their two children were eight-year-old Haley and five-year-old David Jr. All right, guys, so just made it to the Haven Memorial Cemetery um, here in Gig Harbor. And again, this is only about five-minute drive from uh, the, the Olympic Town Center shopping mall um, where she was killed. I'm here, of course, checking out Crystal's grave. And uh, if you're curious on Crystal's headstone, it, uh, it, it shows uh, her maiden name. It doesn't show um, her married name to, to David Brom. I'm guessing Crystal's family purposely did that. That way there wasn't really any ties left to David Brom. Um, also, I uh, just talked to a local guy here and he said that he actually had pulled up to the shopping center only a few minutes after the murder took place. And he said, of course, it's, it's a pretty frequently used shopping center, but he said he pulled up there only a few minutes after it happened. And uh, he confirmed that uh, that is the shopping center, was the one with the Rite Aid there where David killed Crystal. All right guys, um, wrapping up the video, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, if you're new around here, my name's Harmon. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take it easy.